Have we talked about your unethical life hack that you witnessed, you believe, this week? And we'll end on this. Okay, well, to be fair, I don't know if I witnessed it so much as I came up with it after witnessing something that I think would explain what I came up with. Okay. That so, sounds really roundabout. <laughs> well, no, so sometimes I do that too. Like the two ducks story. Remember me right. telling it? I make up stories in my head about mm-hmm. why that happened. Right. Okay. So basically what happened was that I was driving behind a car that had a bumper sticker, probably a magnet that said, a uh, student driver, please be patient, which fair and fine. I totally get it. And honestly, There are lots of times when I really wish when I was a student driver or just starting, I would have had a sticker like that because I definitely could have used a little more patience. It kind of reminds me, though, of the old fashioned baby on board yield signs. Right. Where it's like, be gentle around my car, please, because there's a baby in here. You know what? I'm going to treat you like everybody else, which is gentle and kind. Well, but do you know why that actually is there? Why? It's so that if you're in an accident, they look for the baby. Yeah, I don't think that's right. You can Google it. Maybe I will. Okay. I think you should. There's a follow-up for next week. Yeah. But basically, it's so that if they see your car in an accident, they'll look for the baby. Okay. Because they're so easy to miss. I mean, I certainly like that idea better. Right. Right. Than posturing and expecting everybody around you to treat you specially. Yeah, because you have a baby. Yeah. Yeah. So... They had this student driver sticker on their bumper. And I thought it was brilliant because I was like, man, I wish I would have had that back in the day. But then I watched how they drove and it was like real bad. I'm like, okay, I know when I just finished learning how to drive, I was like really careful and precise because I wanted to be as close to the rules as I could be. And this person, whoever, well, I found out who they were, but (laughs) they were like hugging that line so tightly that their wheel was on the center line. And were they an actual student driver? Okay, well, here's the thing. The whole time I watched them, I was like, This person's driving like they're drunk more than a student. I pull up beside them at a stoplight, look over. She looks like she's like 40. Wow. There's no way that this is a student. Either this is their parent driving their kid's car or the car that they let their kid drive. And they're just that bad of a driver, which makes me terrified for the kid that they're producing (laughs) because that driver is going to be just the worst. But if you were a cop, you would have... Cited them for inattentive or aggressive driving. Something. Yeah. Something. Because they kept like, like they were just on the line in the, like they were on the center line the entire time. They were like drinking and texting. <laughs> Almost, you know, <laughs> and they kept kind of bopping between the lines. Like they weren't really staying totally like they, wow. they stayed in the lane, but they weren't staying in the same position in the lane. And were her license plates one J just asking? No, that's the <laughs> other thing that kind of made me mad. Because that's the baby on board. Board sign <laughs> right. or student driver sign for That's me. That's the indicator One J, I need. <laughs> give them wide berth. Oh. We've talked about it before. Don't come at me. Just the other day, I <laughs> ran into a truck with a 1J uh, license plate uh-huh. that was driving like such an idiot. And he kept leaving like three car lengths when he would stop. Yeah. Which like I get leaving a car Yikes. length and a half or even a car length or something like that. Like leave a buffer. Sure. Three car lengths, dude. Like what are you doing? If, to the point where there was like a turning lane right next to him. If he would have scooched up one foot, I could have gotten in. But he wouldn't because he was being a dumb 1J who wasn't paying attention to his surroundings. Ooh, I'm we're, so mad. We're going to take some time right now. <laughs> For those non-Idahoans who still listen and either didn't know this or forgot about this, the Idaho State Vehicle License Registration Nomenclature System includes a number and a letter to indicate what county the vehicle was licensed in. For example, 1A would be Ada County, which really means Boise. Right. 8B would be Bonneville County, which really means Idaho Falls. So, 1J is Jefferson County, which really means Rigby. And in Rigby, there's just a slower speed of life, and it's sometimes a little more stimulation than they're used to, to pay attention to more than, say, two lanes of traffic at a time. I just feel like they are not very aware of the things going on around them. Just saying. It could happen. I hate to stereotype people, but I will say it's a world-famous known fact that 1J drivers can be dangerous outside of Rigby. Right. Okay. (laughs) Sorry. You know what? 
Don't live up to your stereotype then. Right. Do, be- do better. You have the option. Right. Okay? Eventually, if all of you choose to do that, the stereotype will disappear. Until you choose to do that, it'll stay there. So so to finish the story, you had just pulled up next to her and clocked her. And realized that she was at least an adult. Yeah. Maybe she had gotten her license late. I don't know. I do know people around here who didn't learn to drive till they were 25. Sure. Yeah. Fine. Maybe she's one of them. But then I noticed she had a can in her hand. And (laughs) at first I was like, have I been taken for a fool? And I was like, okay, is is this chick? I was kind of wondering. White Claw Surge. I was kind of wondering, is this chick drinking and driving with this student driver (laughs) sticker so that she doesn't get pulled over? And then I realized it was a Diet Coke. Like I I could see the logo. It was definitely a Coke. There was no question there. Well, but that's the thing about cans. They're not see-through. You can put whatever you want in there. Well, yeah, but who's going to use a funnel to do that? I know. That yeah, sounds that that's a little diabolical like a on my bottle, part. sure. But like a, a can, dumb. Especially because you can't even like screw the top on. So pro tip, life but, hack. <laughs> if, you, anyway, if you want people to forgive you and not report you to the cops. Whether it's texting driver. or drinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not that we're, we are not that, saying that you should do crimes. No, but you're right. <laughs> when you first introduced this topic to me, you said, is this an unethical life hack? Because there's like pages and pages of them on the right. internet. I was mostly just wondering if I'd been had. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 